Hey, howdy, hey. Hey there. Ashley's been pushing me to put together a video of the night before packing and then maybe a little bit in the morning of packing before a day at the Disney park. So we're here at our rental house. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you what we do to pack up the night before. And then we'll show you again what we do in the morning. Yes, Joe is definitely the food guy. He makes sure we're all set with all four of us in regards to what we need to eat that day. I do kind of more of the diaper bag, but take it away. I started by putting together this little handy dandy like post-it note that had each of us in a little cube and then stuff that we all use in another cube. That way I make sure that everybody has enough food for them and that we have some things we all share like water bottles and other snacks. The reason I started doing this was the first day I packed everything. I had packed everything and I think I forgot stuff for Dennis. Um, because you just forget, like you're like, oh, I have all this food, Dennis is gonna eat something. And especially with all of us being different in the way we're eating, like Ashley's eating healthy, mm -hmm. I eat gluten dairy free, Lee eats like a three-year-old, and Dennis has an egg allergy and eats what a one-year-old eats. So we're all a little bit different. It's not like we can just throw five PB and J's in there and go at it. Yeah. Um, at least right now. So I'm gonna start with what can I pack tonight versus what am I gonna pack tomorrow. Starting on the list, I have Lee. Uh, he has an Uncrustable sandwich, can't pack that tonight. Uh, two oranges, can't pack that tonight. Scooby snacks. I got these one day at Walmart for Lee, and I think if you've seen it in one of our videos, he was really weirded out. What is this? What's it look like? Dog bones. Dog bones are for you. No. Are you a dog? No. You sure? No. They're Scooby snacks no. for people. You can eat them. But he actually loves them now. So I'll usually just get a little Ziploc baggie, put some of those together. Lee will also have an applesauce pouch. Um, I'm sure we could just get applesauce and put it in something, but this is incredibly convenient to bring to the parks. Um, next we're on to me. I have two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which I can make tonight and put in the fridge. Being gluten and dairy free, my favorite um, bread right now is from a bakery called Canyon Bakehouse. They make a very good Mount Country white bread, but they also make an amazing Hawaiian bread, which isn't like real Hawaiian bread. It's just like a sweeter version. Dad's like me choose Jif. I still resent that it's mom's like you choose Jif. I got my two BB and J's. I also grabbed two oranges in the morning, and then I really started liking these gluten-free fig bars. They're by Nature's Bakery. Yeah, they're not very dry, which is, I mean, if you're gluten-free, everything is very dry. So, Lee we even likes those. Yeah, we just do that sometimes. Next, we're on to Ashley. Ashley will have one turkey sandwich. So, I gotta make that. Then, she'll have two oranges and grapes. Also, both get packed tomorrow, so it's time to make the turkey sandwich. One thing I just wanted to point out is this is amazing. I love Joseph's lavash bread. That's uh, my lavash. <laughs> it's Joe's lavash. Thank you so much for making this. Uh, it's really good if you're on Weight Watchers, which I um, do. It is only two points for a whole thing of this. One point for half of it, which is still plenty enough. Um, so it's very filling. It's got flax, oat grain, and whole wheat. It goes over all the different ways that has a lot of protein and things like that. So it's really satisfying, but also really good for you. So thumbs up for Joe and his lavash bread. Oh, hello again. You're here. You know how to interject one more time. One other thing is, again, we're not using all the things that we tend to use. Like here, we're using pre-packaged Hillshire Farm. Um, but just with pandemic and us down here, we just feel comfortable grabbing this rather than waiting in line at the deli and going well, through that process. The other part of it is I can buy four of those, which will last us four weeks, and they don't expire, whereas I can't buy four weeks at the deli. Yes, just wanted to let you know what Joe's doing here. May seem excessive to some people, but it works really well for me. I do like to measure, when I'm trying to eat pretty healthy, I do like to measure out how much am I getting of everything, because I do find that I get very frustrated if I don't do that, and it's something that we can easily, quickly do. If it's something where it's like really hard to measure and it's just like, I don't worry about it, but it's something like this where I can measure out the mayonnaise I'm getting so that I'm not under eating too. Under, that's the whole point. That's why I personally, I do really like Weight Watchers. I know a lot of people think it might be excessive to count like that, but it works really well for me because I'm kind of an all or nothing person. So if I'm not counting my points, I probably will under eat thinking that I am having too much. Whereas Weight Watchers gives me the confidence 
that when I do measure everything out, I'm like, oh, hey, I still got quite a bit to eat and I feel good. And again, this is all in moderation. I've been doing it for a really long time and it works really well for me and I do treat myself and you can do that on Weight Watchers. What'd you have today, Ashley, for dinner? I <sighs> Popeyes for the first time ever. I made the mistake though, I... Ashley is not apparently big on social media and didn't realize that the chicken sandwich was the thing. I did it, and so I dropped off Joe at Walmart and then I went to go get Popeyes for myself and a Happy Meal for Lee. Went to Popeyes, got the sandwich, because I definitely was feeling that. I almost didn't even get it, but I was like, yeah, I guess I could go for a sandwich. And then I was like, oh, and then I'll get a two-piece chicken nugget or tender, not nugget, broad tenders or whatever. And then I had the sandwich and I was like, this is like the best thing I've ever tasted. It really was. I have the same thing, because you said people say it's better than Chick-fil-A, because I'm like, what is, what is everyone talking about Chick-fil-A for? Like, this, this is way better. But uh, then I had the chicken ten, uh, tenders and I was like, oh my God, these are not that great. <laughs> and I was so disappointed. I didn't get a second sandwich. So I will be back, Popeyes. We don't have them around us. That I made my move in, now move our hands up, now hands down, back off, back off. What you gonna do now? Keep rolling, 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 rolling. rolling. What? Did all the work. And last, we have Dennis. Last but not least. With Dennis, we'll usually bring uh, one of these veggie pouches, some Cheerios for him, and some other type of snack. Another new thing to us. We had not been uh, using these until this trip. The multi-grain Cheerios has been a staple in our house. For me too, I love it for cereal. It's really good. It tastes like it's honey, but it's not. I don't know, I can't figure it out. Then this is Cheerios. I'm also gonna bring in. <laughs> Just real. Clary wouldn't eat all those Cheerios. Those are for like a few days. I will eat that entire bag. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I usually pack this up and eat Oh my time. gosh, Dennis, you should not be eating. Oh, hey. I mean, he'll eat it for a little bit for breakfast, a little bit for lunch, and a little bit for dinner. Oh. And Leah probably picks a lot of them away from him too. And a lot gets... A lot fall on the ground. Yeah. I'm also going to bring him a fiber and protein bar from Happy Talk. That's and been a long staple. That's, that was a little staple for Lee. Yeah. And then these, these are something we just picked up the other day, these apple cinnamon uh, rice cakes. The next step I move on to is um, the stuff for all of us. And that's where I go into making sure stuff's in the fridge and the freezer overnight because that's not something I can even pack in the morning if I want to. I like to get a bunch of these frozen so mm -hmm. that they keep stuff, they work as an ice pack to keep the other stuff cold in the uh, lunchbox, but also they'll melt throughout the day and then we can eat the, drink them. Did I mention Joe went to Walmart today and got way too much food? Did you notice that we are eating our food at the parks to save money, but I'm a little nervous with how much you're filling up our fridge. Well, like this chicken fried rice here, we like that. That's $3 and it feeds both of us. Yeah, true. If we were to each get a burger, it is $25, maybe 30. Just for the two of us, you should get a burger. Actually, I did want to talk about that perspective because we've talked about that, that we are smelling the Disney food a lot. And yes, I feel like- it Smells great. It smells tastes. great and there's been, and now I actually think it tastes pretty good. I don't like Probably not worth $20, but I think it tastes pretty good. Maybe something better than a turkey sandwich every single day. But we always go back to that perspective of that by being by making these meals and bringing them into the park, it allows us to do trips like these. You just kind of have we to. We wouldn't have, that have been able to do this if we had eaten out every day. Yes. Or even a lot. Yep. And we even do that at DVC. DVC when we're at our DVC resort, um, we almost always eat back at the room and cook something. And usually it is. It's just like pasta every night with like processed tomato sauce. But it's. But we don't do that at home. That's right. just on vacation and even extended vacations like this one. Right. At home, we are very good at making meals. It was hard because it was hard to buy a lot of our favorite meals. We need to bring a lot of ingredients down for or buy a lot of ingredients here that would then get thrown away when we went back home because we couldn't use all of them. I'm not gonna go through an entire thing of red wine vinegar. I'm not gonna go through an entire thing rice of vinegar. Rice, rice vinegar. I'm not gonna go through Choice an entire package us. of any of the spices. One thing I will do is I'll throw these waters I try to, wherever I can fit them, throw six or seven waters in here. Um, that'll usually last us for the whole weekend. It's time to throw our sandwiches in the fridge. And then the key is to not forget them tomorrow. The final step the night before is to make sure I leave our Yeti uh, mugs out 
so that in the morning I remember to fill them up with ice water and we can bring them to the parks. I know mom and dad finally got an upgrade after they saw their son having ice cold water throughout the parks for the last well, year. It was nice and warm. So we finally got these and uh, this trip. The yeah. only thing I wish is they were a little bit bigger. They don't fit a ton in them. I agree. But time to get to bed and then in the morning, uh, while Ashley's usually doing her makeup and Leah's eating breakfast, I will pack all this up and see you then. <sighs> Good, Good morning. morning. It's been a very busy morning. That's why we make a lot of this the night before because yes. we've been up since six, it's almost eight. We gotta get out of here and get to the parks. Yeah. Got our Yetis out, building them up. Pterodactyl in the background. Uh, the reason we got this in the first place was that we felt like we were going through uh, different cups with Lee like crazy because it would have like a soft straw whereas this is a hard one because he is a biter so uh, we were like you know what as long as we don't lose it it'll be a good investment and we haven't yet uh, so as although it's a little bit more expensive we've actually saved money because we haven't had to keep going through cups got my drink that I bring got some ice water some cold water some oranges Joke and juggle, did you know? Afro Circus, Afro Circus. Oh no! That one's for Joe. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Sandwich. Bars. Applesauce and veggie pouch. Crackers. Yeah, these I usually keep out. Pretty full and heavy. Yes. But it lightens up throughout the day, especially as we go through the water. Ready to go? Ready to go. So we hope that you enjoy. She's so funny. <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed uh, going through our lunch bag. Pterodactyl! Okay, this is a new thing, it should be a pterodactyl. But we hope you enjoyed going through our lunch bag with us, and uh, well, maybe Ashley will go through her bag with you at some point, their baby bag. Yeah, if you are interested, uh, leave a comment below uh, if you'd like to see what we bring otherwise to the parks. Until next time. See you real soon.